is the crash course to the four types of hunger. That's right, there are four. It's one of my favorite tips to trust your hunger, make peace with food, and ditch food rules, especially binge eating tendencies. This is for you if you feel like you don't understand your hunger, your fullness, and you don't know where to start. Like it comes on ravenously, or maybe you don't even ever feel hungry. By understanding these different types of hunger, you can better get acquainted with that. It's not uncommon to be unfamiliar with your hunger or fullness cues, especially if you grew up in the clean plate club like a lot of us did. You might also be confused if you're a victim to advertising. <coughs> Food is everywhere, so really understanding hunger important. The different types of hunger are a framework within intuitive eating. Now intuitive eating is used to better understand what your body's asking for and ditch food rules. If you are interested in understanding the intuitive eating 101, I will link my video down below. But the purpose of this video is to get acquainted with the specific tool of understanding your different types of hunger. So let's comb more through the types of hunger like I've been leading on to. So the different types of hunger are physical, taste, emotional, and practical. Let's start by combing through physical hunger. So physical hunger is the type of hunger when your body is giving you a cue to let you know that it needs the energy from food. Like when you're thirsty, your body lets you know by giving you maybe a dry mouth. Maybe you're thinking a lot about water or another drink. That tells you that you're thirsty and you need water. Your body similarly signals that it needs food. Hunger shows up differently in different people, but if you are thinking about food a lot, get the gurgles in your tummy, feeling agitated, low energy, shaky. These are signals, your body just telling you, hey, I need energy to keep going. The primary purpose of food in our diet is for energy. Not surprising. We gotta keep going somehow and we don't yet have a battery charger pack in our gut. Physical hunger usually uh, physical hunger usually comes on slowly, maybe over a few hours until the hunger peaks and then you like have to eat. Next we have taste hunger. Taste hunger is the craving for a specific food or it could be when something just sounds good. So let's say you're at a restaurant, you ate your meal, you're really full and you're feeling good. Then out comes the dessert menu. Obviously you have to get dessert. That's not true, but sometimes it feels that way. And that would be taste hunger. Another example here would be, let's say a woman is on her menstrual cycle and she's craving steak and leafy greens. So the common nutrient in those two foods is iron and this means that the body is signaling to her that she really wants iron in her food. So the reason that she is thinking more and has a taste for the meat is because her body wants iron. The important thing to know about taste hunger is that it is a valid form of hunger. It's okay if you wanna eat. All right, next we have emotional hunger. Another way of phrasing this is emotional eating. So emotional hunger is usually an emotional need that shows up as a want for food. Usually this is when we're craving a lot of sugar or refined carbohydrates. Or also if you have immediate hunger that comes on and you feel like you have to eat now or you are going to die, that would be emotional hunger. A way you can identify emotional hunger is number one, doing a body scan and seeing what am I feeling right now? Underrated is checking in with the body and seeing actually how you're feeling. As in emotional eating, it's very easy to actually eat or binge until you don't feel good. So by tuning in to how you feel before you start eating, you can really gauge appropriately, recover and eat intuitively. Again, very normal very valid type of hunger. Then we have practical hunger. This is my favorite to actually talk about because it's like looked over usually when you're thinking about hunger types. But so practical hunger is when you're eating in anticipation of an event. So let's say you know that you're going to be going somewhere with no food that you can eat. Let's say you have a food intolerance or an allergy. 
um, or you know that you aren't going to be able to eat when you want to. Let's say you have a doctor's appointment around dinner time and you don't want to miss a meal or you don't want to feel crazy with physical hunger by the time you get to the doctor's appointment. So you eat before you go. Now maybe you're not actually physically hungry when you're eating before the event, but you're doing it because you are practical and anticipating the need for food later so you're eating now so that you're not missing out later. Practical hunger happens all the time because in an ideal world we always talk about oh yeah just eat when you can and eat when you're really hungry um, and then you'll feel good. But in the real world, which is never like the, <laughs> the ideal world, we have real things that we have to do and a lot of the times they overlap with meal time. Practical hunger, very likely gonna come into play in your life. All right, so I hope this helps you on your journey to understanding hunger cues and making peace with food. Again, this is my healthy eating hack to understanding the types of hunger. I will see you guys next time. I usually can't snap.